Hello friends, this is Garage Sailing with a Twist. Let me introduce my friend, Tall Paul. Take it away, Paul. Hi, the benefits of having friends that you know collect things. When you're working at a house that's setting up for garage sale and you see a bunch of thermoses that you know your friend likes, so you take a picture and say, hey, you want any of this? And not only does she want thermoses, but there's <laughs> other stuff three feet away on the table that she wants, what well, makes you know I'm buying it and delivering. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as she does. Have a great blessed day. Live from the blessed nest headquarters, I guess you call it. <laughs> Bye guys. It's good to have friends on the lookout for things that you love and enjoy. So are you ready? I have a haul for you. Let's get started. Well, it all started out with a couple thermoses. <laughs> I'll insert a picture here of a picture that I got from my friend Paul asking if I was interested in some thermoses. These were $2 a piece, so I had him get both of these. I'll probably keep one and probably sell one. Which one do you think I should keep? I am leaning towards this one. I like the top of it better, but they're both so cute. And for $2 a piece, how could I resist? Well, as you probably figured out from what Tall Paul said, I saw some other things I was interested in too. The first thing I saw was this adorable Mickey Mouse lunchbox, and it has a thermos inside too. Here's the thermos. And I got both items for $2. Says Disney on the front here, and there's the ticket for two dollars. I will be keeping this for my own collection. And then Paul thought he would throw this one in as well, and I think I'll be selling this 101 Dalmatians. And if I can get it open, surprise, there's two thermoses inside, so I'll be selling this in my booth. Let's see, are these the same? Yeah, I guess they're, well, this one looks bigger. Nope, it's an optical illusion. <laughs> they're both the same size. So a lunchbox and two thermoses for $2. And there's the ticket on that one. When I asked for more details on the thermoses, Paul sent me another picture and I saw something else I was interested in. Look closely. And then lastly, be still my heart. <laughs> I didn't know this was a lamp. I, I, in the picture, he showed the picture with the bulb on top. I just totally saw it from here down and thought, oh, I saw the cord and I thought it was a night light like this. <laughs> but it's actually a lamp. So I need to find a shade for this and I'll be looking for that. But look how darling this is. And it was $10. So I, let's see. Two, four, six, eight. So all of that would be $18, and I'm pretty sure that he gave it to me or they gave it to me for $15. So I got a little bit of a discount there. So let me know would you have bought this and what kind of shade can I find for that? So that was super fun, and I was so happy. And thank you so much, Tall Paul. He is tall, isn't he? <laughs> He's our family friend and he watches some of my videos, maybe all of them, and he's always on the lookout for good stuff for me. So I appreciate you. Next, I picked up this gorgeous afghan, and I will insert a picture of it all laid out so you can see it. And I was at a garage sale, and I saw it in a box, and I opened it up. It was in tissue paper, and the lady said that it had never been used. And I said, how much would you want for it? And she said, oh, a dollar. So I said, oh, I'll take that. And I asked her if somebody special made it for her. And she said her grandma had made it for her, but it was never really her colors or her thing. So I said, well, I will honor your grandma's memory and use it. So I think it'll be great for the fall. It just reminds me of fall. And I've already washed it and it's super comfy. It's not scratchy. I was super excited to find it. It's not super big. I just have it laid out on my bed here. So look at the beautiful colors. So here's my queen size bed all the way over to here. 
So it's maybe half the size of my queen bed. And I have a couple more items for you from a garage sale that I went to in Hartville. Super sweet lady. She was probably around my mom's age and looked like she was downsizing quite a bit. And she makes these. So you know I bought two of these, both the same. Won't they look cute in my kitchen? $2 a piece. I think she was really tickled that I wanted them. And then I thrifted one like this a while back. It's an Avon owl. And it says on the bottom, Roses, Roses Cream Sachet. And I got it for a quarter. So one of the two that I have will be going in my booth to sell because owls are pretty popular right now. And then look at this cute little jar. I thought that was really sweet for candy or I don't know. Well, let me see if I can open it. Well, it's got a super tight seal and it's in super good condition. And I think I paid a dollar for that. So I'll be putting that in my booth as well. That wraps up all my treasures for today. I would love to know in the comments what your favorite item was and if you would have bought anything that I bought today. I wanted to show you a couple things that my mom gave me. This was in her home for many years, hanging on her dining room wall as well. And she's collected these animals from all over. You did get a little glimpse of this in my home tour, my summer home tour, but I thought I would go ahead and let you know where I got it and why I have it on my wall. And my mom is so happy to see it here and it makes her happy that I wanted it. So a couple of my favorite animals, of course, are gonna be anything deer. This little set, there's two of them here, and then this one kind of looks like them. And also, I love the little lamb. That's definitely a favorite. A whimsical one is the monkey. And then here's another deer right here. Look how cute he is. So there's another look at it all. And I did purchase something of my own to add to it in a future video, you'll be able to see that. Let's take a look at my hutch here. My mom gave me this picture of my dad. It's his graduation picture, sorry for the glare. And I put it in a white frame and I thought it looked good with my patriotic display. And then also I wanted to show you this shelf here. That's the blue thermos from Tall Paul that I decided to keep and I thought it looked really good there. And then up here on this shelf, I actually am going to tweak this. Hang on. Okay, I got this from my dad's basement. Isn't it amazing? I just love it. But I think it looks better there with the red. And then I moved the uh, clock over here with the red, white, and blue. Not red, white, and blue, the red and blue. So. What do you think? I'm always tweaking. And these pictures were highlighted in my summer home tour and they are my great grandparents, my mother's parents. I mean, my mother's grandparents. I never knew them, but I thought these pictures were really special. Dot Likes Red sent me some more friend mail. Look at this pencil, isn't it cool? And this is from my parents' house. I found it in one of my dad's metal drawers in the basement. And the date was actually set still to, let me see if it'll focus, December 3rd of 1943. So I thought that was pretty cool. It was probably my grandpa's. Dot sent me this big star and I put my littler ones inside and it fits perfect. Isn't that adorable? I love that. 
there's a look of everything together. Dot also sent me this. I don't know what it's called, but I call it a letter wetter. And it's huge. You can see by my hand. Apparently, I had said in a video that when she got one that I was looking for one of these and she remembered. So I had one of these at my job when I was a secretary and my mom sends out a lot of mail and I thought it would be really cool to use when she sends out a lot of mail and I do too. So thank you so much, Dot. It's perfect. And I'm so excited to show you these candlesticks. I won the June contest from Dot Likes Red. Look how gorgeous they are. They're milk glass and I put red candles in them. Uh, since there's four of them, I thought, well, I couldn't do red, white, and blue and white might blend into the milk glass. So I thought for now, I'm gonna do all red. So I just think they're super beautiful. And I wanna thank you so much, Dot. Dot does have a contest every month. And if you're not watching her channel, you need to go over there and check her out. She's so much fun and does such a great job on her videos. And I just love her and I wanna thank you, Dot. So please go over and check out her channel. But wait, there's more. In my package was also this card for the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. Second Chronicles 16, 9. Love that very timely message for today and always. And then she sent me this vintage tape, which I love and it matches my kitchen. And then does anybody know what this is? It's for a roll of stamps. I also had this back in the day when you would, for a business, you would buy a huge roll of stamps. So that's very cute. And I just had to show off the lovely ribbon again. She sent me that before and I think it's so, so pretty. I actually used some of that ribbon from Dot Likes Red right here to help my wreath stay on the door. I had it with twine and the sun is so intense that it takes, it melts the hot glue that I had it attached with. So this is very cool. And I think of you all the time when I see it, Dot. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.